Hello and welcome to Server Client 101. Today I just wanted to start with my new series of um, the video tutorials about how to make a home server yourself with Windows XP Home or Professional. So this here is my simulated bot computer for I simulated the 30 bucks computer or how many it was with 512 max 40 gigs of hard drive and uh, yeah just um, simulated that and the problem with those bug computers is um, maybe yeah, like people who owned it before give you give you password and such but if you log in the first time you notice this yep this and this is just you know the beginning it's very cluttered up it's it's progressing anything things are popping up all the time it's messing the startup it asks for your name bricks whatever leave me alone and 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 things like this and and old email credentials you can read here old emails you can reply to old emails or you can read even reply replies to old emails like they did whatever but you see it's very very cluttered up this system and it's very very junky and here you have an installation wizard and everything is just popping up and basically it's it's messy you don't have you know a view on what's going on so for that just you know we have to get rid of this junk so first we close every application that popped in our face when we first launched it. <coughs> and um, also you see on the desktop it's messed up with files that the previous owner wanted or had. And also maybe there's like an illegal music library or something like that on here. Like here maybe. Also pictures are in there. Old ones. So, um, basically it's very cluttery, it's very, very junked, as I like to call it. So, to tidy this mess up, there are two ways. The first one is the method that I would prefer is reinstalling the operating system because you'd never know. Like this computer here, my simulated one, doesn't have an antivirus installed. Maybe you've got like 335 viruses on here. You'll never know, you never know what you pick out of the garbage of somebody other's lawn. But whatever, let's get started. So the first method is that I would prefer reinstalling the operating system. That is really easy if you have a factory image on CD or a CD to recover your computer and that the owner already you know put there. Uh, you can reinstall from that or if you bought your Windows XP or if you want to buy the XP that I showed you in my presentation earlier um, yeah do that and re make a reinstall if you matter what maybe it's your own old computer like the computer from your uncle or so and he doesn't have any OS and you're completely you know sucked up you, you don't have any money well, now we're going to do it hardcore. We're going to clean it ourselves. So to do that, the first thing is that we click on Start, right-click on My Computer and click Properties to see what we have to deal with. Then we can go into My Computer, right-click on our drive, click Properties and see what we have to deal with here. So that's the first thing that I would do on a new computer that I got. And now let's get ready to tidy it up. So first, let's go to start, run, now type in control, space, user passwords to. Because we don't want the someone user. The someone user can represent your uncle's name, the name of the owner which bought it, a nickname, whatever. So you tick this checkbox right here and then delete the user someone. You click on remove. At the warning, click on yes. Click reset password on the administrator account and set it to nothing. Then click apply and OK. If everything works without any errors, just now do a restart. See you then. 
Good. After your computer has started up again, your profile is clean and you're logged in as administrator as you can see right here. So now everything is cleaned for this profile. No order starts, nothing. Now we have to delete the junk the older profile made. So I click on my computer, go to the local disk, look for any junk in here. Then we go into tools, folder options, view. Now we will say display the contents of system folders, uncheck, hide extension for known file types, and we also say show hidden files and folders, and also we uncheck hide protected system files and we click apply and OK and now we click on documents and settings now you can see the folder someone we just dragged it to our garbage can and most of the time this will delete sometimes there will be an error but in this case it did so just open up your recycle bin and empty the recycle bin and now all the junk all the fileish junk is gone after emptying. The next thing we need to do while this is deleting, we wait it we wait for it to complete. It doesn't take a long time. Wow, that was really junky that I did there. Um great. Okay. So now we need to delete all the software that is installed and we and that we don't need anymore and all the Windows components that we don't need anymore. So click on the control panel and switch to the classic view by clicking on here. Then we click on add or remove programs. After that delete everything that you don't need anymore in here and then click on add or remove Windows components. Go into accessories and utilities and get rid of games. Then it's optional. You can use the indexing service later on to search for everything that is on the server if you want. Then get rid of the MSN Explorer, Outlook Express, and the Media Player, and also the Windows Messenger. Click Next, and it will delete everything of your hard drive. Click Finish. The next thing that we need to do, we need to see the network status in there. Do that, we click on Start, Control Panel, Network Connections, and then we click on our local area connection. We click on Properties, and then we tick Show Icon in Notification Area when connected. We click on OK and Close. Now we can close out of there. Next thing is to get the user sorted. To do that, we just right click, click Properties, and then click on Windows Classic. As desktop color, you can set whatever you want. I want to set black and no background. Screensaver, we disable completely. And in the power management, which you can reach by clicking on power, we set to always on. Then we click on apply, OK. And in appearance, we can leave everything like it is. And on settings, you, could, you should choose the resolution of your monitor. Then we click on apply. After that is done, we click on Start, right-click Computer, and right-click on Properties. Then we click on Advanced and Settings on the Performance tab. So basically we get rid of everything. We just check the shadow ones, show window contents while the dragon I would always tick. Then I would say Smooth Edges of Screen Fonts and also Use common tasks in folders and use drop shadows for icon labels on desktop. Now click apply. This will take a little while and OK. Click OK again. You'll notice that your computer reacts a little faster now because you just uncluttered it. Good. The last thing that you can do is you can get rid of all those things by just remove from list. Right click remove from this list. Also, we don't need an email in there. And now you finally got rid of everything except this one game, which I will get rid of. 
um, and your computer is completely uncluttered and ready for server usage. So see you in the next video where we're gonna set up our network connection. See you then.